Scholars will use concrete and pictorial models to compose and decompose numbers up to 1,200 in more than one way as a sum of so many hundreds, thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. When using base 10 blocks, we use one base 10 block to represent one, we use a group of 10 to represent 10, and we use a group of 100 to represent 100. Draw a square in the ones place to represent a single digit. Draw a rectangle in the ones place to represent 110. Draw a larger square in the hundreds place to represent each 100. Now let's look at the number 236. Six squares were drawn to represent six ones. Each square is labeled. Three rectangles are drawn for tens. You can count each rectangle by 10, 20, 30. Be sure to label your 10. The hundreds can be drawn as a larger square. There are two and the value is 200. Be sure to label your 100s. 100, 200. Now use base 10 blocks to represent seven. How many blocks do you have? What place value are they in? If you have seven ones, you are correct. Now use base 10 blocks to represent 27. How many blocks do you have in the tens place? If your answer is two, then you are correct. What value do they represent? Now use base 10 blocks to represent 327. How many base 10 blocks are in the hundreds place? If you said there are three hundreds in the, in the hundreds place, then you are correct. What is the value of the hundreds place? The value of the hundreds place is 300. In this lesson, you have learned to compose and decompose numbers using concrete and pictorial models. Now try 352.